All right, so to see everything that happened to me regarding my injury, please see my YouTube channel, My Medical Nightmare. Discussion. Those that have asked for a phone number or email, uh, please do not use the YouTube comment section. You can send me an email directly, and my contact is on screen. It's futureclongeguy at gmail.com. All right, so apparently the investigation into my complaint against Dr. Wayne Broth, it hit a snag with this September 19th exchange with Adam Blahut, government analyst for the Florida State Department of Health. So I'm asked here for patient medical records to document Dr. Wayne Bross' interpretation of the images. My case is an example of telemedicine. I requested a free MRI review via email to the medical practice that Wayne Broth works for. That's Dr. Scott Katzman, an orthopedic and ledger spine surgery based out of Florida and New Jersey. I believe that I sent in enough medical records and documentation uh, to establish uh, the validity of my claims. I sent in uh, copies of my emails uh, such as uh, this one I'll put on screen. In this email here it should be uh, good enough to substantiate uh, the fact that uh, Dr. Broth had looked at those uh, pictures. This is from Jenny Alon of uh, Dr. Scott Katzman's office. It says, Dr. Broth attempted to get in touch with you to discuss the findings of your diagnostics test and provide some recommendations and treatment options. So apparently the Florida Department of Health they will not accept this uh, for some strange reason. Also sent in uh, links to my recorded telephone calls with Dr. Wayne Broth. Yeah, I recorded the calls where he does the uh, consultation. You can hear those. I made them public. They're up there on my YouTube channel. And then another strange thing that doesn't make sense uh, with this uh, continuing uh, redundant request for information that I already sent in. I signed this form for the Florida State Department of Health. This is authorization for release of patient information. And so basically what this does, I give my signature and consent uh, to uh, the state of Florida, the Department of Health, to go to those doctors and get those records that they need. They don't have to come to me and ask me to go and get them to then send them uh, to them, okay? I gave them permission to go directly to the doctors and get what they need. And that's what they should have done. So I wrote this reply also on September 19th. And I included a screenshot of my caller ID information from my cell phone where the doctor called me for this consult that is the center of this complaint. Yeah, and following that uh, consultation, Dr. Scott Katzman's office in orthopedic and laser spine surgery, uh, they will not communicate with me further. So, yeah, it's kind of difficult uh, to get additional records from somebody who won't communicate with you. So following this September 19th reply that I made, I was not contacted again by Adam Blahut or the Florida Department of Health about this 
investigation for four months until I called Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. And uh, I'll put that uh, recorded call with the Florida Department of Health and Adam Blaha, an investigator and government analyst, in the next video. I think this is very uh, unprofessional of the state of Florida uh, to leave me hanging, okay? Because, you know, what I found out in that call was uh, there had been no uh, development in that investigation. It had reached a standstill with that September 19th letter. They didn't communicate to me, uh, as they should have, that uh, what I had sent them it was not going to be adequate. And they definitely should have done this. Not professional and uh, very suspicious. I have evidence of uh, corruption in my misdiagnosis case. And uh, it goes from doctor to doctor. There's like some kind of um, strange reason why they will not do their jobs uh, properly. And we need to get to the bottom of this.